Hello everyone, uh, this is another video in the series from micro to macro and today I will compare some of the steppers and some of the stepper drivers to get the feel on the power, the energy, the force uh, if you choose to do some motion controls uh, just to have an idea what can you expect from a small from a large uh, motor or from a small or larger uh, motor controller. There's so many things that have changed in just in the re recent years and uh, a, a motor controller even though it looks small it may be really powerful and that's what I'm going to show you right now. Okay. okay so what we start today with is an Arduino board, Arduino Uno standard and then we have a IT Studio dual axis stepper controller which uh, is equipped with a chip uh, uh, 3967 that's capable of running from 4.75 uh, volts to 30 volts and gives about 0.4 amps to 0.75 maximum amps uh, and uh, has a micro stepping capability of um, full step half step up to one eighth of a step and then I have the um, CNC shield from uh, Protoneer, capable of four axes. Uh, as it's called CNC, it's, uh, um, it can be used uh, for uh, uh, CNC machines uh, by downloading a, a G code interpreter into the Arduino board. Uh, for this board, there's multiple plug-in modules uh, that uh, uh, drive the stepper. And I have two of them. One of them is the uh, 4988 uh, module, and the other one is the uh, 8825. The uh, 4988 goes to from one amp up to two amps maximum, from eight volts to 35 volts, and goes to micro stepping up to one sixteenth. Uh, pin compatible with the other one, the 8825 from 1.5 amps to 2.2 maximum amps, 8.2 volts to 45 volts, and up to 130 second micro step. And these are the two modules without heat sinks. With heat sinks, they'd look something like this. Okay, uh, heat sinks strongly recommended. The chips can produce so much more uh, heat that it can, they can dissipate, so they need to have uh, heat sinks and also uh, fans. Uh, what else we have? We have um, a stepper motor like the um, uh, CD DVD drive, okay, and then we have uh, um, something that was rescued out of a, a scrap bin and cleaned up, uh, even though it's not the uh, production uh, uh, duty uh, anymore. Uh, it's a 20 year old stepper motor and slide but I was able to uh, get another cat life out of it and I'm going to use it for this and uh, hopefully some other uh, tutorials okay so one this one has has the uh, OEM uh, 5751 uh, compu motor motor uh, and it has a, a THK KR 33 slide. Okay. Now, also found uh, something really antique. A spring scale. We're going to measure the force that these uh, slide can produce with the stepper motor with various drivers. Okay. So, Now let's go and uh, connect the small stepper motor controller using the Arduino. First thing we download the program into the Arduino. Okay. And we're going to use the uh, dual shield board. Load. 
Okay, now I can unplug it and then we can put the other card. Okay, and we're gonna connect the motor. We're gonna use X axis. Four wires for the stepper motor. Okay. Two, three, and four. And if we plug it in, this is what we get. Okay. Now, if we try to see how much force is, this is relatively low force. I can stop it very easy. Obviously, it's a small motor. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to connect the big slide with the big motor. So now you can see the tiniest motor that there is with one of the largest that you can connect and one of the largest that these drives could take actually this one will be a little bigger than what the uh, this one can take but we'll see that so what I have is just a header now I'm not going to use the screws I'm going to use the plug-in just to make it quicker and This is the motion, as you can see it uh, does kind of the same motion as it did with uh, with this uh, little stepper CD, CD stepper drive, but if I try to stop it, I can stop it almost uh, almost as easy as, as the other one, maybe, maybe just a little bit more force, but I can push it up and down over I whatever mechanical uh, whatever mechanical um, force there is so now uh, this also has the capability of an external power supply right now it was just running off the USB port so I'm gonna put a 12 volt power supply now the noise is a little stronger which uh, also gives a little a little bit more force it's still a weak, weak slide. If I was to try if I was to try the, the force that this one can place, I I will try with it. I have a smaller scale, I'm going to try with this one to see how much force does it place. Put. So it only goes to, it only goes to two pounds on the scale. As you can see, up to two pounds. Okay, so this is as far as you can draw. Out of the little controller, the IT Studio controller, by using uh, either 5 volts or 24, uh, 12 volts. Now, we're going to switch to CNC Shield. The Proton Air version. This one will take external power supply. Uh, I'm gonna put 12 volts. So this will not run with the 5 volts from the uh, USB port. Okay. And we're gonna. We're going to start first with the smaller controller, with the smaller uh, driver. And 
always plug in the motor. Don't power up without the motor. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on first just the Arduino without the uh, power so I can load the program. And that would be this. Compiling, uploading, done uploading. Okay, so now I'm gonna oh, take it off. Okay, so now we're gonna have to turn on the fan because we're gonna generate some heat. And we power the Arduino. Also gonna try to measure the force. See if we can connect it right here. Okay, 24, 22. Let's try again. Okay, 16, 24, 32, again 16, 24, 32. Okay, so what we can see is it goes to 32. Okay, and now I'm going to try to connect. I'm going to try to connect the uh, 8825 driver. Now what's important over here with these two drivers is that there's one pin that's important, the enable pin. Okay, and if you look at this one, the enable is the one in the corner. So both of them have enable pin on this corner and on this corner. So this has to match the enable pin on the board. If you put it backwards, then it's instant uh, uh, burnout. Okay. That's one thing that the chips are not protected against. Okay, so back to powering up. Back to powering up the uh, high voltage and then the Arduino. And now we're gonna look at how much force does this one pull. Okay, 24, 32, 40, 40 something. Now, uh, Okay. As you notice, the, the, the uh, motion on this uh, uh, driver is slower because this has uh, a 30 second instead of a 16 as the other one. So I'm going to load the other program. No, no power for the driver, just power for the Arduino and then do an upload. Okay, upload complete. And then um, take off Arduino, put the driver power. Try again. Now it should run the same speed as the uh, 4988 driver. 30, okay, 16, 24, 32, 40, 24, 32. Okay, that's the end of the uh, program. Okay. 
All right, so this is what we've uh, learned so far with the uh, with this board. We can get two pounds with the uh, CNC shield by using the uh, forty nine eighty eight. We can get thirty two pounds, and by using uh, the um, eighty eight twenty five, we can get up to forty pounds of pull on the slide. Okay, now for the um, For the small motors, this is a perfect match. Uh, all you need is something uh, simple that can run the drives back and forth. It doesn't, most of the time, it doesn't need heat sinks like for these drives, uh, for these stepper motors. Uh, but if you if you want to have a, a bigger uh, motor towards the uh, uh, half an amp, then you may need to put a heat sink or even a fan. Okay. Now on the other side with these guys, these guys can take so much heat, so much uh, high temperature. Uh, as I say, you will get burned before the uh, before the chip uh, burns out. But you need to cool it down, okay? And um, if you like what you saw, just give us a, a thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, you can ask a question or maybe both. And there's some uh, links uh, as well to the programs that I used over here and some data sheets for the drivers. Uh, thank you for watching.